Hey everyone, welcome back to Karma Light Readings. I'm Karma. Let's roll the dice and see who this reading is going to be for. It is for Pisces. All right, Pisces, welcome to your reading. Um, I'm Karma. As I said, this is going to be for Pisces. Any placement, please keep in mind that energy is fluid and time is non-existent. So that means that this reading may resonate with you past, present, or future. If you're new here, welcome. Please make sure you subscribe, like, comment, and share. You guys, today is December 26, 2022, but this reading is timeless. Um, just a few of you were asking me if I could please let you know uh, what day I'm doing the reading. So December 26, 2022, this is going to be going into 2023, but again, it's timeless. Um, you guys can catch me on CosmicUpdates.com every Friday. Uh, I am the Weekend Tarot Love Reading. That link is in the description box below. If you're interested in a personal reading, Etsy is below. And also, if you guys are interested, uh, there's a GoFundMe link below. My mother has uh, stage four colon cancer, and I'm currently the sole and only financial provider for her, myself, and my three children. I pay for all of her medical expenses that uh, insurance isn't covering. Um, we've had to join households to try to reduce costs, but um, any help is appreciated. If you can't donate, please don't worry. I would rather your prayers, okay? I need all the prayer warriors as well for my mother. So Pisces, let's go ahead and get into my blessing and my prayer as I shuffle your cards and let's see what the Holy Spirit has for you. Mother, Father, God, Divine Holy Spirit of the Most High, thank you for allowing me to be a clear channel of receiving messages for Pisces. Thank you. All right. I ask that these messages provide clarity, guidance, healing, and understanding in regards to the current life situation, soul journey, and soul path. I also ask that these messages provide clarity, guidance, healing, and understanding in regards to what current cycle, soul lessons, and generational curses Pisces may currently be dealing with, about to deal with, need to become aware of, learn from, heal from, and release. Lord, in all that you are and all that you do, and all that I am and all that I do, I live by your word and your word only. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. You repetitive. You're repeating something right now, Pisces, or there's something going on like somebody here or maybe you're with somebody who's experiencing like memory loss, like they keep repeating themselves or, or they keep going, saying the same thing over and over. Pisces, please. Okay, you have child. Okay, so it could be something that you're dealing with with a, 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 a baby daddy or a baby mom, right? And they're just saying the same thing over and over. But you could be going through some type of repetitive pattern or cycle with your child as well. This could be indicative of childhood wounds that keep coming to surface that you're needing to address. Um, but of course, in the physical realm, this is about a child. There could be a physical child that is in your presence that you're currently dealing with or, or having to deal with. Change could be moving. Maybe you live at a distance or you're moving closer to your children. Okay, you have the numbers 18 and 9 for Pisces, please. And courthouse and wealthy man. So a decision may have been made recently in regards to a child, okay? Uh, Pisces, there may be some type of change here. Maybe it was name change. Something with legal documents, Um Custody, moving, paperwork, something along those lines here. Could have even just been putting something like in a trust fund, okay? Child support, you name it. It has to do with children, money, moving in court. Some of you could be traveling out of country and you needed to get official documents for a child, okay, Pisces? This could also signify um, adoption. Okay, some sort of adoption taking place. You have the numbers 18, 9, 23, and 13. Messages, please, for Pisces. Holy Spirit. I have to shuffle again, Pisces. I don't know what's going on, but they're telling me to shuffle again. Two 
of swords. Something is blocked. That's what it's like repetitive, going around, going around. You feel like you're blocked, you're paused. You can't get past something or get over something. Yeah, queen of swords. Outside energy is the eight of wands. Your challenge is the three of swords. Your outcome is the magician. Bottom of the deck, you have the king of cups. There you are, Pisces. With the five of swords and the tower. With the king of pentacles. All right, there is currently a disconnect from emotions, okay? Or <clears throat> a neglect with this uh, King of Cups and the Five of Swords, Pisces. It's like a neglect or something like your heart, okay? It could be even like the child, but there's something that's very pure and very innocent that is also very, very painful and it almost feels like it's being manipulated or tormented in some way. I feel like it's your emotions. Holy Spirit, please clarify the Two of Swords. So whatever you've recently asked for or requested, it almost looks like it was blocked or the truth was blocked or you couldn't see something clearly, but you were unable to move forward. There, the dreamer, interesting, the queen of swords twice. The high priestess, yet yeah, there was a lie. There was some type of hidden truth that you couldn't see. Something that you couldn't see. But I also feel like you need to pay attention to your dreams. Some of you, your dreams are telling you something. Then you have the page of wands and the four of cups. You couldn't see something clearly because of the pain that you were in. And so some of you may have been receiving visions because you have the page of wands, a swan, the dreamer, and the two of voices. But see, this is a page. It's not fully grown. Some of you may have been receiving dreams and visions and you were unable to interpret them properly, Pisces, because you were still interpreting them from a place of pain because you hadn't allowed the light of God to come in and shine on you in that area for you to take accountability or heal or release or repent something and that's why you were blocked and that's not just you so I don't want you to sit here and be like what that happens to all of us in this journey it's, it's part of the ascension process right we, we sometimes we've we've got to go through something until we, we get it right and that's what I'm seeing here so you may have not been able to understand why something wasn't working out for you because I see you spending a lot of time You the Four of Cups and the Phoenix, which is the Hierophant. I see you spending a lot of time thinking about things that are done and over and decisions that have already been made. And, and it's like, that's already washed away. Why are you focused on that? But because you were focused on that, you were in a lower state of perception. Does that make sense to you, Pisces? So when we stay stuck in the past, we don't allow ourselves to grow, um, evolve, or learn something new from the situation. Instead, we stay at the perception level, the frequency, vibration, dimension of that problem. And so while life is moving all around us, we're still stuck in the past, which is why you're showing up as a page with the high priestess. So you're over here having visions and dreams and you're interpreting them from a vibration and frequency that happened way back when because you didn't heal it and fill it with the light of God. So you're missing the whole message. You were missing the whole message and you were seeing it. You were seeing it wrong. All right, your energy is showing up as a queen of swords. Very closed off emotionally. 
I, I this Queen of Swords, I just feel like right now you're not in the mood. Four of Wands, so because you're very focused on stabilizing something, your home life. Two of Pentacles, okay? Has to do with this change up there. Clarify, please. Ten of Swords. Knight of Wands, the chair. Yeah, you could be moving somewhere, okay? You could be trying to make your move towards somewhere or travel towards somewhere. Um, you right now with the Queen of Swords, because you've received this, um, well, now you've had a breakthrough. You've recognized why you had a block and why you couldn't see forward. So now you're focused on experiencing uh, that breakthrough. But I see you going back and forth about bringing into alignment or bringing, I don't know if it's bringing someone to live with you because you have the four of wands. You don't know what to do because it's something that's over. Ten of swords. This is a cycle that's ended. This could be something that happened within your home, within your family. That's why you have child and change. You may have had to move. You may have had to leave. You may have had to go in a separate direction. And whatever it was, you're cold to it or from it. But yet you still go back and forth on if you want to go back or not. And I really feel like spirit is telling you to let it go. Outside energy is the eight of wands. You're moving. You're being led to go somewhere to move somewhere. This could have to do with children. You could be moving away from your children. And maybe that's causing an issue or bringing up trauma and wounds from you know childhood for you or something that that your children are still dealing with here clarify please the eight of wands six of pentacles five of cups And the Knight of Wands again with the Nine of Pentacles. Something's coming in quicker than you can handle. Like, it, it, something's shifting pretty quickly, and I feel like you are quite worried about it. It's an ending, a closing of a cycle that has to take place. It's going to lead you to a rebirth, whatever it is. But there's this crossing of the bridge that needs to take place and there's this just letting something run under the bridge right whatever happened happened you have to let something go and i i don't know if that's if this is what you've already done if you're in the process of letting that go so that you can move forward here okay because i see you wanting to take a leap of faith here with the eight of wands and either travel or move but there's an obstacle in the way and whatever that obstacle is, Pisces, it's going to change you when you come out of it. That's why you have the shapeshifter and the nine of pentacles. Very independent energy, very much on your own, two feet sturdy on the ground, building yourself from the ground up. You take the initiative, you go through pain to make a change. It's been challenging though. Your challenge is a three of swords. There's a deep heartbreak inside of you that I don't think you tell anyone about, that you're still dealing with. Clarify, please, the three of swords. You have the fool surrendering, the five of swords. Why are you holding on to this stuff? And the eight of pentacles. It's very, very hard for you to accept the truth about something, Pisces. Very, very hard to accept the truth. All paths lead to home. This is what I'm, I'm hearing, okay? Um... And I, whatever it is that is hurting your heart this much, number one, I'm so sorry that you're going through this. I know how painful heartbreak is, but I can share with you as another human and a soul who's gone through this process as a testimony that there, there is light at the end of the tunnel. 
and the hardest part is working through the pain. Um, and I feel like you struggle sometimes with surrendering and letting go of what could have or should have been or what happened. I do feel like there was a lot of effort and time that was put into a situation that you tried to work on something, but it was to no avail. There was a loss here, a very big loss between two people, almost like a loss of a child. Like this was a big loss. Here we have child change courthouse. And then for the challenge, you have the three of swords and then the five of swords. But this five of swords shows two eagles fighting because an egg is falling from the nest. So they're losing a baby. They're losing something of value, an investment if you don't have children. But for some of you, this may be a custody battle that just is not, didn't come out great. There is a purpose for whatever you are going through and you're going to come out stronger and better than ever. I would ask and pray to God every day to lead you through the situation and to give you a deeper understanding. The outcome of the situation for you, Pisces, is the magician. You're going to manifest and create the life that you want. It is going to work out. Um, with the magician here, I just see you more stepping into your power and being able to utilize whatever you've learned from this process that's been painful or confusing, whatever this loss is. I can see you taking all of those tools and utilizing it for your higher good so that you can bring down what your dreams are and bring it down here, right, to the physical realm. Holy Spirit, please clarify the magician. Okay, you have the death card. So it is a transformation. It is the ending of one thing and the beginning of the next. You have the composer, king. I believe that's the king of cups. No, sorry, page of cups. Wow. And then you have soulmates, the lovers, and the magician again. Once you release this past pain, you're going to align yourself with the love, but you have to fully close out the past. It's like I said, you can't keep bringing this with you. That's an older vibration, an older frequency. There's something that's trying to be composed into your life. A soulmate is being written into your life and you're choosing to miss out on it because you're holding on to the past. That's a lot of energy children energy love energy so in a nutshell if i can make this for a whole collective i would say you know if you have a physical child that will resonate for you that way but for all of you child or no child your inner child is needing to be healed because it's still connecting to something from your past that is preventing you from being able to align with a same match of same frequency vibrational match a soulmate ask god to shine a light on it for you pisces in your heart i'm sending you much love